the Grace Chapel, we're on day six of fasting and prayer, and thinking about how we can be speaking like Jesus. I want to share with you about uh, when I was in college, I was in an acting group, and one of the uh, uh, little plays that we used to perform was one of Jesus' life, but like of an acting group performing Jesus' life, and the main character was a guy who kept forgetting his lines. And when he would forget his lines, he would come up with kind of ignorant things to say. So we would do this scene where uh, the woman that's caught in adultery is brought before Jesus, and they say, what, what do you think we should do? You know, um, And so they're trying to trap Jesus, in which he finally, in the real story, says, you know, he who is without sin casts the first stone and everybody walks away. But our actor, who didn't know the lines, would look around and be confused, and then he picks up a rock and he says, Let's stone her! This accumulates until we have the scene of Jesus on the cross, and uh, he hangs up, the, he's, he's up there on the cross, and you know we've pretended to nail him to the cross and lift him up, and at which point he just starts screeching out, Lord, save me, save me, send 10,000 angels, send 10,000... Well, at this point, the director is furious and fires the guy and has it. There's a big to do. Uh, but the whole scene ends uh, where there's confusion from the actor who doesn't know his lines. And the director says, if you don't know the lines, you can't play the part. And then we turn the lights off. And it's very dramatic. So we've got, got people laughing and then you get them with that very... Grave and serious thought of uh, if I am playing the part of a follower of Jesus, can I really do that if I don't know the lines? And so, a big part of speaking like Jesus is being able to know the words that Jesus said. I'm going to read for you Colossians chapter 3, verse 16. It says, Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, teaching and admonishing one another in all wisdom singing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs with thankfulness in your hearts to God. So one of the ways that God has gifted us that we can remember God's word and hide it in our hearts is by singing. And so as a challenge for you today and you know through the rest of this week, which is just a couple days, you or with your family, with your household, pick one of your favorite verses or a favorite psalm and see if you can't write a little song or make it put it to a tune that will help you remember that verse. Ideally, it could even be words that Jesus spoke. So, words that Jesus spoke and how can you put it to a song. After you've done this, I want to encourage you to record it and upload it to Grace Chapel's member Facebook page so that we can kind of uh, see the, the, the fruit of your labor. So thanks again. This is day six of 21 days of prayer and fasting.